Sean here guys and today we're talking about now the O3 unit has 10 bit color that's right the DJI new air unit called the O3 the same system that's in the Avada but we've all been a little bit jealous owning these this is the Vanny style that I have built up with the O3 right here and this is a Fox here or a bind and fly that I'll have a review for on the channel very very soon both of these contain the DJI O3 unit system but we've been a little bit jealous of the people that have the Avada I actually have one too and that's because it got an update for 10 bit color now for the Avada you actually had to install some sort of a weird remote ID update to do it so it was questionable whether you wanted to do that but with the O3 unit there's no GPS on board this thing so there is nothing to worry about when it comes to that so you can update it and not have to worry about that until those things actually come to pass for us as users. So you do have to apply an update to the O3 unit itself and to the goggles. Now, one of the nice things about the O3 unit compared to the original DJI system is that you just have to plug it in and you don't need a battery to be plugged in for in order to do something like an update. So it's really quick and easy, it just takes a couple of minutes. Then now you can go into your settings. You'll have a few extra settings here. There are also things to improve low light a few other picture shooting modes available like 4K 30 and things of that nature for somebody that prefers that. I personally prefer to shoot in 2.7K 100 FPS. That's not what's gonna look the best on video playback, but it is gonna give me the most up-to-date juicy look to my goggles. Now the other settings that I like to do is I like to shoot in 4.3 because I wanna have that extra vertical view and then if I send it through GyroFlow, it ends up looking perfect because to stabilize, it's gonna zoom in just a tad and then it's gonna look great. Um, this technology is so good. One of the few downsides I saw of the O3 compared to the original DJI system was that at the night spot where we often fly, it just didn't have the same type of low light performance, but this really helped boost that. We're gonna do some more testing, so um, stay tuned for more coverage of this. I just wanted to get a little quick update out there for you guys. So some of the other updates are that now you can do 4K 30, 2.7K 30, and on you can also do 4K 120, which is really cool, and 2.7. There's extra sharpness and noise reduction features built in now that you'll be able to access as soon as you do the update. In order to access the 10-bit color, you will need to change the color profile from the default to the Decenalite. Now, unlike the camera I'm shooting on right now, which is the Sony a7 IV, it has 10-bit available, but I do have the option to shoot in 8-bit. This one, if you use the Decenalite, which is the nicer color profile that you'll be able to manage and color grade a little bit better, you only can do that with 10-bit. If you want 8-bit, you have to go back to the default one. So just keep that in mind. I wish there was the option to do that. I don't always prefer to shoot in 10-bit. In fact, this video, I'm not shooting in 10-bit because I just don't need to do that. I use Sony's D Cinelite, whatever, and it works fine for me, and that's all I need. I said the low light says that it, the update has optimized the camera exposure in some backlighting scenarios to avoid over dark in the shadow areas. Also enhance some remote signal if you use the remote for your flying. The DJI little silver remote, the little gray one, that is really nice to hear. One of the things that we had feedback i let lamone try it and he had some notes about how the low light performance was not good you just can't see anything um and so we're going to let him fly it again with this update and see if it's improved stay tuned for that video coming up very soon but if you have these o3 units and the goggles too go ahead and try that 10 bit tell me if you like the image that you're getting at in the color tell me if you like the images you're getting now with that update down below um, I can't believe we're getting these updates this fast. I really didn't expect 10 bit to trickle down. We were all were jealous when the Avada got it and we're like, when is the O3 gonna get it? When's the O3 gonna get it? And now we got it, guys. Got it. If you're old enough to remember the 8 bit versus 16 bit wars when the Sega Genesis was trying to steal all the market space from the original dominant NES Nintendo system, then that's what it's like going from 8-bit to 10-bit color. You just have a little bit more data there in order to adjust your colors. That is one of the huge advantages that the GoPro Hero 11 had over this new DJI system. But now, 
it's a little bit more on par because you do have access to that extra color data via 10 bit. Now, I don't think this is going to make it quite on par with the Hero 11, but it's going to close that gap just a little bit, meaning that you can get an image that is that much better with the system that's all on board. No need to strap on an additional camera unless you really need that extra few percent of footage quality. And so for me, who knows if I'm ever going to strap another camera on again. Maybe you don't have to.